All right. Well, here, here's here's the quote. Here's the quote from Santana Moss about RG3 and what you were just talking about. Quote, you were just as happy that Mike and Kyle and them is gone, but now you're getting your behind ripped every day because you're not playing the kind of football that we need to play for for us to be successful. And then he goes, so 2014, Gruden comes in. He didn't care. We see that now, meaning RG3 he doesn't care. He doesn't care what he says about you. He doesn't care what he says at you. He rips RG3 every chance he gets, like every meeting, and we're sitting there looking like, yeah, you know what? So, it's Moss saying that to RG3. RG3 went on a Twitter tirade here moments ago and said, No subtweeting needed, Santana Moss. I treat you like a brother. I've always had your back to openly lie about me as a betrayal. Been lied on a lot over the years. Put in a possible situation with a coach who never wanted me. Made players like Santana Moss a believer through hard work, film study. Continues. There's like 10, 12 tweets. Showing up early, leaving late, putting in the extra hours, staying after practice, and getting extra work in. We won the division that year. Next year, coach wants out, says he wants out, says he never wanted me as his QB, and I get blamed. All caps. Come on, man. I've been a good soldier. Some so desperately want me to fit in this negative narrative that has been pushed about me, but I don't fit it. Never have. Never will. Final one, proved it in Cleveland, voted captain, come back to play for my teammates just to help us win one game with a broken shoulder, stop the lies. Well, I think how I feel about RG3 is encapsulated in this quote from Santana Moss that he gave that same radio station on RG3's public versus private persona. These are Santana Moss's words. You saw one thing, and then you heard another. I might have thought that he treated everyone kindly from what I saw, but then you bump into too many people that they say, hey, I don't know. I don't know about that guy. Like, I don't understand why he couldn't just be like, this is a good marriage. It is working out. Shanahan's, plural. You guys are putting me in a good situation. There were some doubts about me. A lot of the Baylor guys never work out. NFL people come in here and tell me all the time, the Baylor thing that they do on offense is the least applicable thing that you would bring to the NFL. What they do there, none of it makes any sense. And then it works, and he's the number two pick. He can't keep himself healthy. The last part about being named a captain in Cleveland, every quarterback's named captain, so that doesn't mean anything. And the reason his shoulder got messed up is you can't save yourself and get out of bounds. But I, he is at home working dudes in pickup hoops, by the way. <laughs> He's really good. But he is at home thinking, none of this is on me. I deserve to still be in the league. I'm capable of playing when there's all sorts of evidence from people that were around him that go, this is just not that dude. So okay. I can understand his frustration. 